Step number one. Open the box and remove one swab, one Spiceman 2 prepacked with extraction buffer, one dropper tip, and one bag with a test cassette and put in front of you on the flat table. Step number two. Take bag with a test cassette, remove from the packaging bag and placed flat on a dry table. Step number three. Take and open the bag with a swab like it's shown in the picture. Option one, with the patient's head slightly lifted up and the mouth wide open, the patient's tonsils are exposed. With a clean swab, the patient's tonsils are gently rubbed back and forth at least three times, and then the patient's posterior pharyngeal wall are rubbed back and forth at least three times. Option two, let the patient's head relax naturally. Turn the swab against the wall of the nostril slowly into the nostril, to the nasal palate, and then rotate while wiping, and remove slowly. Step number four, Take the Spiceman tube and tear off the sealing film. Insert the head of the swab into the Spiceman tube, mix well, squeeze the swab 10 to 15 times by compressing the walls of the Spiceman tube against the swab. Let it stand for one minute. After that, take out swab from the tube and put it aside. Put on the dropper tip on Spiceman tube. Step number five, testing. Take the test kit cassette and place horizontally on the table. Take the Spiceman tube and add three drops of the sample to the test cassette hole. Set the timer for 15 minutes. The positive specimens can be detected during 15 minutes after sample addition. Step number six, read the result. Positive, two colored lines appear on the membrane. One line appears in the control region and the other line appears in the test. Negative, only one colored line appears in the control region. No apparent colored line appears in the test region. Invalid, control line fails to appear. Step number seven. Put the used test substance in the bag and throw it in the appropriate place. Attention. The swab specimen should be tested as soon as possible after collection. Do not use specimens that are obviously contaminated with blood, as it may interfere with the flow of sample with the interpretation of test results. Results from any test which has not produced a control line at the specified read time must be discarded. Please review the procedure and repeat with a new test. If the problem persists, Discontinue using the kit immediately and contact your local distributor. The color intensity in the test region may vary depending on the concentration of analytes present in the specimen. Therefore, any shade of color in the test region should be considered positive. Note that this is a qualitative test only and cannot determine the concentration of analytes in the specimen. Insufficient specimen volume, incorrect operating procedure or expired tests, are the most likely reasons for control line failure.